Hello, I'm Jimmy. I'm a certified mechanic here at the dealership. I'm going to walk you through on how to properly change your oil. Let's uh, have fun and change some more. <laughs> and here we are up underneath the truck. We're going to get ready to change your oil. Uh, make sure you get the oil pan. It's right in front of the transmission. You got two pans under here. You got a tranny pan, you got your oil pan. So what you want to do, there's a bolt on the back. A lot of a lot of times on these, on the Chryslers, on the Dodges, it's a 13 millimeter. You just got to break it loose, and you don't want them too tight. And you got to be careful not to spill oil everywhere. You got your little splash pan, and you just drain your oil. And you want to let it drain real good, and get all the old oil out. Then after we do that, well. I'll show you where the oil filter is, and you always want to change your oil filter. As you can tell, this oil is very dirty. And now it's just a waiting game until <laughs> it drains. Then you want to put your drain plug back in. And a good thing to know, you don't want to over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you'll pull the threads or strip the head. You just want to give it one little tug and clean it real good, that way you don't have no oil spill. Then you want to come forward and you got to get this oil filter. It's up here on, this, on the Dodge truck. And you want to loosen it a little bit and it's going to spill oil. So you got to be real careful. One good thing to know, when you're putting your new one on, you want to put a little lube on this, on this O-ring. If you don't, it doesn't seal right. Cause it's real dry. And you want to put your new filter on. And when you put your filter on, once it snugs up, you want to give it a three-quarter turn. You don't want to over tighten it. And then you want to clean all your oil up. That way you don't have nothing dripping. If it's all cleaned up, then you're done underneath. Then you want to put your oil in. Now that the truck's down, you want to find where your oil filter, or where you put your oil in. So you want to find your oil cap, and you want to take that off, and you want to make sure you put the right oil in. On these oil caps, on a lot of them, it'll show you what oil goes in it. This one takes 520. Some of them will take 530, 1030. So just want to make sure you get the right oil in the right amount. So now we'll put the oil in. The trucks with the Hemis take five, take seven quarts of 520. Me being short, I gotta climb up on the truck. So just gotta make sure and you don't wanna pour it in too fast. You just wanna let it go real slow. If you try to pour it too fast, you can spill it everywhere. And a lot of times on uh some of these vehicles, if you pour it too fast, it'll go in your little tube and get down in your breather. So you gotta be real careful when you're putting oil in. All vehicles take something different. Some take five quarts, some take six, some take four and a half. So you just gotta make sure you get the right amount of oil in each one. All vehicles are different. Then after we change, change your oil, get the oil in it, you want to start your vehicle for approximately 10 seconds. And then you want to check your oil just to make sure you have the right amount in it. Then once you get the oil in, you want to take the filter out. You cannot start it without an oil cap on it. All right. Then you want to get rid of everything. Another thing after you change your oil, one thing you got to check is all the other fluids under your hood, you got power steering, you got brake, fill your washer fluid, you got to check your coolant, uh, air filter, make sure your battery cables are not corroded. You want to check a lot of things. And if you don't have time at home, we'll be glad to do it here. We do a lot of other things other than change oil. On an oil change, we do a uh, multi-point inspection. You want to walk around the vehicle, we check lights, we check your tires. Now you want to come over and check your oil. Make sure you got the right level, because once you start it, it gets in the oil filter and the oil will drain down. You just want to 
bring it out once and wipe it because once you start it it'll go up your go up your stick. So then you want to bring it out just to make sure you got the right amount of oil. And it's got a little deal on there and you can see it. It's right here. And that'll make your oil full. That's how you properly change your oil. If you don't want to change it at home, you can bring it here. We'll be glad to change it for you. And again, we don't only change oil. We do a multi-point inspection. We check tires, we check brakes, check all your lights, washer, we check your wiper blades. Uh, make sure, again, all your fluids, this is important, make sure all your fluids stay full. And again, my name is Jimmy, and I thank you for watching this video. Hope you learned something. Thank you.